Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon. We're joined by Andy Colehap. Always so good to see you. Transitions counseling. Correct. So, uh, families. Families. We're going th- we've been in this thing for COVID. a while now. Like, what's going on? Well, you're either fighting or you're not fighting. It, it, you know, as a friend said to me, you know, I've, I've been forced to be with my family a little more, and I'm finding that they're, they're pretty good people. Oh, but, that's... But there's, there's some things that are basic to all this and how we communicate with each other. Right? Sure. The first is... We have to share, right? We have to share our thoughts and feelings within the family unit. We have to, we can't hold it in because if we hold it in, it will explode. Yeah. How do we deal with the delivery? The second thing is we have to listen. Uh. And you have to listen and, and, and you have to listen with eye contact. And as my wife used to tell me, we can tell, I can tell when she's done talking when her lips stop. So if I interrupted her, she would say, lips moving which means I had to just listen and stop. I like that. Because I think is uh, we try to jump in on people when, when they're, so we're trying to think of what our next point is. Yeah. And the third thing is let it go. Let it go. We all make mistakes. No one's right 100% of the time. And just, you know, just cut everybody a break. Yeah. And uh, so what do you think of that? I, I think that's Your fantastic. Your turn. My lips have stopped. Your turn. Okay, Carrie? it's my turn, right? I think that that's absolutely um, appropriate for my car ride here with my daughter. You know, oh. that, that whole idea of like waiting for somebody to finish what they're saying, right. let it go a little bit, you know, and because c- when you are spending a whole lot of time with each other, um, it can not be easy, right? But also at the same time, I love that you're saying you're discovering that the people yeah. are actually really good people. I love that. Yeah. That's so hopeful. <laughs> it's kind of a joke, but at any rate. It's, no, uh, it, but it's true. We're like, we, yeah. we're constantly, I think mm-hmm. having fresh eyes on things, uh, yes. that's like what I sat with this morning was how to be aware and awake of things never being the same. Right. And it feels like Groundhog Day right now. Right. In some ways. So your lips stop moving. So I'll, I'll say a few more things that, that I have <laughs> on my mind today. One is rose, bud, thorn. Rose, bud, thorn. And this is what families should do at the end of the day when their kids are done with school or whatever, is talk about what was the best part of their day? What was your rose? You go around the dinner table, whatever. What's your bud? What do you look forward to? And what was the thorn? Which is really important because kids learn that they learn how to express when things aren't going yeah. so well. And, and the, the key when someone shares their thorn is don't try to fix them. Ooh. So if I say I have a thorn, you don't go, well, here's what you should do. Right. You know, there's a great video, a great video. Everybody has to watch this. Okay. It's not about the nail. It's one minute, it's wonderful, they'll love it. It's not about the nail. It's not about the nail. What does that mean? You'll see, it's really funny. It's a gal with a a nail in her head and she keeps (laughs) snagging her her sweaters and her husband's going, what about the nail? She said, that's not about the nail. And it isn't about the nail. So one is just, you know, just to, I think the whole point is just don't debate everybody. We we, We don't have to debate as a family. And the other thing is we're we're closing up here is when you leave the house, don't just say bye. Go look at that person, get eye contact, say goodbye. And the the best thing is to touch, high five, high five, hug, whatever. They have found that people, the families that leave in this fashion, they don't just yell and leave. They they actually touch each other, are happier than those that don't do that. Just little things that really add up. I'm kind of reflecting as to whether or not I do that. So what doesn't happen? Hey, you left. You didn't tell me where you're going. So no, we, we need yeah. to respect each other and where we are. And if it's going to take but a little longer, that. throwing that text, I'm it, I'm held up. Or taking but, a, just taking a moment to touch, touch, you know, just to like just a kiss on the forehead or just you know a hand hug, hand squeeze. Every I time. Love that. Every time. I'm so going to implement that. I'm totally going to implement that because right. I know like I like to shout and, and make known that I'm like that I'm going, but. Right. A little yes, bit more, yes, yeah. Yes. A little eye contact, you know, until, mm-hmm. to, to uh, you know, that we'll be meeting again. Right. I love that. Right. So families, listen, rose bud thorn. Rose, I love bud, that. Thorn is not rose, about the nail. Bud thorn is not about the nail. Listen, Check out that lips. video. Is that a uh, uh, YouTube? Did I interrupt you? Were your lips moving? I think they. My lips are always moving. Okay, it's I'm, just, <laughs> your turn. <laughs> always good to spend time with you. We'll have to thanks. catch up again on this soon. All right, thanks, Andy. Thank we'll you. be right back with more talk of the town.